And we should say there's also there's also a problem. Again, this is the same problem that the Republicans have. And it was on display in the Energy and Commerce Committee, uh, I guess it was yesterday, where uh, Representative John Shimkus of Illinois was asked what mandate of Obamacare uh, he did not like specifically uh, by this guy, John Doyle. He's a, a, a congressman, a Democratic congressman from Pennsylvania. Now, again, this gets back to the idea of insurance is about spreading the risk. And insurance, and rem we had that clip of, of Rand Paul when he was questioning, I can't remember if it was Health and Human Services um, in the confirmation hearings, about expanding the risk pool. That's the whole theory about going across insurance lines and whatnot. And here is, um, here is this exchange, which, again, completely illustrates how ideologically the Republicans are against insurance because they perceive it as collectivist. Yep. I'd just like to say to our, our friend from Oklahoma, none of us think this bill is perfect. I, I've never heard a single Democrat say that this bill was perfect. We, we knew that it needed work. And we wanted for the last seven years to work with Republicans to try to improve this bill. You guys weren't very interested in that. I'm not sure what the gentleman is talking about when he talks about mandates. What mandate in the Obamacare bill does he take issue with? Certainly not with pre-existing conditions or caps on benefits or letting your child stay on the policy to 26. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm curious, what is it we're mandating? Would the gentleman you, yield? Yeah, sure. What about men having to purchase prenatal care? Wait. I'm just, Every, well, I, is that not correct? I, I, Reclaiming my time. And should they? Reclaiming my time. Whoa, 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 There's no whoa, such whoa. thing as a la carte. Regular order. Regular. There's no such thing as a la carte insurance, John. You don't, you don't get the... That's the point. That's say, the point. That. We want the consumer to be able to go to the insurance market and be able to you negotiate tell, on a plan. Reclaiming my time. Whoa, you tell whoa. me what insurance company will do that. There the isn't a single time, insurance company in the world the, the that does that, John. Time, the so you're talking about something that doesn't exist. I want to go and buy the health insurance program where I'm not having to pay for the cancer. I don't want to pay for the cancer. I don't want a diabetes plan. No, Thank I don't you. want the cancer. I don't want the diabetes. Are I don't women want any able of that. to go buy it and opt out of the testicular cancer part of it? I'm just oh, wondering. Shut up, Cliff, you PC warrior. S J W total beta cock 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 beta cock. I don't even know what the fuck you guys are talking about. You clearly don't listen to the program, Clue. Look, the bottom line is again the this is an assault on the concept of insurance. But because they don't understand it, that's no, they do understand. Whoever that jackass was, shockingly from Oklahoma legitimately thinks that this is the way insurance he doesn't know just the way jason Shaffitz is sitting there like an imbecile oh, don't buy the new iphone yeah you know a couple hundred dollar phone versus a lot of people having twelve fifteen thousand dollars a year in premiums you know i mean they don't get it because guess I... what we're paying for their health care half well, these guys have no freaking clue well They've but I, been covered I don't by understand mommy and daddy and uh, you know, I, you know, listen, there's two things. One is, I think either they're just being dishonest. I mean, a guy like Jason Ch Chaffetz is uh, being, he's being dishonest. This guy from Oklahoma, I think just fundamentally, A, is against this concept because it's collectivist in his head. B, is also in total denial. Uh, the state, excel I mean, a state like Oklahoma, for instance, without the federal government, you know, good luck getting your mail, buddy. Like, why would anybody send anything to Oklahoma? Right? I mean, honestly, yeah. like, why the would the federal government, government we drop it off at one or two cities and the rest of you guys get, you know, uh, you, you can figure out how you're delivering your mail. Oklahoma looks a lot like Mad Max terrain uh, if the federal government leaves. I mean, the, 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 it is the classic, it is the classic dynamic, it's just, it, right? It's, Everybody's it's on the door except for me. It's, when I have, uh, when I'm getting, uh, you know, uh, a mortgage interest deduction on my 5,000 square foot house. Right? right, but also don't miss the, the demagoguery of it, too, which is classic right wing, which is prenatal care. He makes sure to bring up something. Why should the men folk have to pay for the women folk? Right. You know, right. I oh, mean, it, 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 he's playing to his base again. 
Um, he it may be stupidly doing it, but again, that's what happens when we elect people that are as dumb as the people who are voting for them in some of these districts. It, you know, they're coming there and they're expressing the same ignorance as the people who voted for them. And and for him, I don't get it. Why shouldn't we just be able to cut out prenatal care? We, it should still all work, right? Hey, folks, Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump can kiss all of our asses. And one way he can is by you subscribing to this channel. I don't know how that works.